The purpose of this video is to show how to use Hyena's Active Directory viewing options. Hyena allows Active Directory objects to be viewed two different ways. One method is to navigate Active Directory through the traditional method of navigating the containers and organizational units for the domain. The other method used in Hyena to view directory objects is through special entries called nodes representing the users, groups, and computers in the Active Directory domain. Hyena automatically places these nodes under any domain in the left window as seen here. These nodes are actually Active Directory object filters with several predefined views or queries. For example, if the users node is double clicked on, Hyena will execute the default user's query and display all users in the domain. These queries can be fully customized. Let's modify the default query for the user's node. To do this, either click the 80 queries button on the toolbar or right click on users, then select customize query. Hyena uses these symbols to represent the default query. To modify any query, in this case the default, first select it from the defined queries list. The query directory attributes window will show the directory fields or attributes that will be displayed when the query is executed. To add another attribute to the query, Find and select it from the Schema Attributes window. Then click the Add button. To make navigation easier, this dialog can also be resized as shown. Here we will add the Employee ID attribute by selecting it and either double clicking or clicking the Add button. To change the order of the attributes displayed, use the up and down buttons as needed. Click OK to save these changes. Hyena will then automatically rerun the query with the changes that were made. You can now see the employee ID in the results view. In addition to using Active Directory queries to display data in the right window, Hyena will also use queries for information presented in the left tree window when any node is expanded. Hyena will use the first two attributes in any query for information shown in the left window. Since we added the employee ID and made it the second attribute, we can now see the employee ID is showing after directory name. If this is not desired, there are a couple of ways to change this. Access the Active Directory Query Manager by clicking on the second toolbar button. Select the default query and set the first two attributes appropriately. Here, we move the display name up to be the second field in the list instead of the employee ID. You can also create different queries for each window. Let's see how to create different default queries for the left and right window views and also how to create an entirely new query. We'll start by making a copy of our current default query. First, select the query to copy and then click the copy button. Let's modify the copied query to be the default for the left window. Select this copied query and then click the settings button. First we'll change the name.
Then check the option to make this query to default for the left tree window. Then click OK to save these changes. Notice our default query symbols have now changed in our query list. We can remove our third and fourth attributes since they won't be used in the left window. Now we can modify the other default query for the right list window. Select it and click the Query Settings button. Let's also change its name. The option is already selected to make this query the default for the right list window. Click OK to save these changes. We can change our attribute list now to be just the order that is needed. Let's also add the account expiration date. To create a new query, click the New Query button. Start by entering a name for the query. In this case, do not assign it a default window. Set the default window to None. Now we'll click OK. And finally, let's add some attributes to display. Let's add the directory name, the display name, the employee ID, department, title, and email. We'll set the employee ID to be the default sort sequence. And click OK to save these changes. Now let's refresh the left window to see our results. And also our right windows view as well. To run a different query, such as a new query added earlier, right-click on Users, then select one of the other queries defined for users. Here we will run our new query showing our users now pre-sorted by employee ID. These examples demonstrated how to modify the directory queries for the user's node. Queries for other nodes such as groups and computers are managed the exact same way. However, when using the Query Manager, remember to change the existing queries for selection to match the query type. For example, to change the queries for the computers node, set computers as your query type prior to adding or changing computer related queries. In our next video in this series, we will show how to manage Active Directory in Hyena by using the containers and organizational units in the domain.